up everybody welcome back to another video and in this video i have a couple things planned for you guys which should be very exciting so let's get right into the video hey guys so i just realized that since this is green you're probably not going to see it. it's probably it looks real goofy i'm sorry but uh sometimes that's just how the cookie crumbles I know I didn't use that right. Okay, stop. That's what popped in my head, so that's what I said. Okay, but again, we're... Oh my God, you see those rhymes? Anyways, no, actually, before we get into the video, I want to tell you guys, I got this comment on one of my community posts, and this... Oh, I was laughing so hard. Okay, so basically, the last time I did an award show, you guys may not know about it, it was a while back, um, but there was, like, some weird, goofy scene where I, like, shoved the dog... <laughs> I, like, threw the dog at the person. I, well, you will get a dog. Take the dog. Just, just, just take the dog. Sorry, I was a little aggressive there, but I'm sick of this. I'm sick of holding the dog. No one's taking the dog. Anyways, I can't explain it. It was it was pretty messed up. Um, but someone commented something about that in my last community. You know who you are. I thought that was hilarious. I'm just saying, uh, if y'all haven't saw that, you can go check it out. It's my old work show um, because I was talking about maybe doing one of those. I'm still not sure if I'm going to or not. Still working out some stuff with that. But in this video, we have a couple of interesting things to look at. So we're going to be looking at one, Matthew Stafford, how he's performed this season according to Next Gen Stats. And then we're also going to be looking at the Detroit Lions Super Bowl odds. So let's actually start with the Super Bowl odds. Now, I don't actually have it on the screen for you guys right now, but that's okay, okay? You guys don't need to see it because I can read it off. I just realized they don't have it on the screen. So maybe if I have a picture, I'll throw it up. I'm not sure. But... We have updated Super Bowl odds, and I thought this was interesting because, as we know, usually coming in every season, lines have very, very low Super Bowl odds, and they're still pretty low, okay? So I thought I would go through this with you guys really quickly and just kind of tell you where we're at right now. If there's a picture, that's awesome. If not, uh, just enjoy just enjoy me holding this duck like this. I'm going to talk. No, I can't do that. That's too weird. All right. Just look at my face while I read this because it's over here, okay? So, going through the Super Bowl odds, starting at number one, all the way down to 32. One, Patriots. Two, Chiefs. Three, Rams. Four, Saints. Five, Cowboys. Six, Eagles. Seven, Packers. Eight, 49ers. So, you see 49ers there coming in at number eight. It's pretty high, but they are undefeated. You see Philadelphia, super high, which is surprising to me. Ravens then coming in at nine. Ten, Chicago. Eleven, Chargers. Twelve, Cleveland. Okay. Thirteen, Minnesota. 14, Seattle. Uh, okay. Houston, 15. Carolina, 16. Way too high, especially with the backup. Buffalo then comes in at 17, which is whack. Okay. This is obviously not strictly based on performance so far. It's also based on like how your past has been because Buffalo should be higher, but as we know, they're not usually a team that's competing for a Super Bowl, but neither are we. That's why we're not on here yet. Jacksonville at 18, 19 Titans, and we're at 20. So, yeah, we don't get a lot of love here, though. Uh, Colts 21 then, Giants 22, Tampa Bay 23, Pitts Pittsburgh Steelers 24, which is kind of crazy, but that's actually not too low for being 1-3. and three. Then we have the Falcons 25, Jets, Raiders, Redskins, Cardinals, Bengals, Broncos, and Dolphins have the worst. I'm sorry, Dolphins. Actually, the Redskins don't have bad odds. I mean, they're, they're terrible, but they're not, like, super terrible. So I thought I would just give you guys that just to let you guys know that some people give us love. But on the Super Bowl side of things, not too much love. Now, these stats are interesting. This is about Matthew Stafford so far. We made a video talking about how Daryl Bevel has really woke up Matthew Stafford and has showed us a brand new Matthew Stafford that is also throwing a lot of touchdown passes and playing very well like we used to see. And let me show you a couple of these next-gen stats. Now, a lot of this came from Lions Wire, so shout-out to Lions Wire. If y'all want to hit me up, you know you know who I am. Uh, you may not know who I am, but if you do. Anyways, these are some next-gen stats that I thought were very interesting, okay? So let's get into the first one. And this first one is called aggressive throws. Now, Matthew Stafford is known as a guy that's pretty aggressive, right? He's got the big arm. He's aggressive. He tried to fit things in little pockets. That was kind of his reputation up until Jim Bob Cooter. And then it was kind of like, all right, let's play safe. Let's be conservative. Let's not throw picks. Even though we still tend to throw tons of picks, that was kind of our game plan, and uh, it was kind of ugly to watch. wasn't super exciting. Well, that was a case under him, right? That was a case under Jim Bob Cooter. And if you look at Matthew Stafford simply, like if you look at his simple stats, right now he's 15th in the completions, 10th in passing yards, 4th in passing touchdowns, which is actually higher than I thought, and 10th in quarterback rating, okay? So that's pretty good. But last year, in aggressive throws, he only threw it 15.9% of the time. That was 2018, okay? That was not good. Okay, but now in 2019, his aggressiveness has jumped to 23.4% of the time. That's how high he's definitely jumped up on his list into third in the NFL. So he's third in the NFL in aggressive throws. Okay, it's kind of weird how the next gen stats 
work. Okay, I'll try to describe some of these. This one's kind of confusing. But basically, let me give you an example. Stafford's throw to Kenny Galladay was an aggressive throw that was ranked as the 19th most aggressive throw of the season. The 19th hardest pass to complete of the season. I'm pretty sure that's how they worded it. Okay, yeah. The 19th most difficult pass okay, this season so far. So Stafford to Galladay, we all know about that beast throw that he threw, okay? So that's the first next in stats, huge up there. Next up, these all have a similar kind of storyline to them. In 2018, Matthew Stafford, again, not a very aggressive quarterback. He was more like held back by the Detroit Lions offense, trying not to make mistakes, and it didn't work really well. Basically, Matthew Stafford was 34th in the league in air yards to the sticks. And basically, air yards to the sticks is a measurement that tracks each quarterback throw in relation to how far behind or past the first down marker it is, okay? So where are you throwing to that first down marker? Well, in 2018, Matthew Stafford was two yards behind the first down, ranking 34th in the league. But in 2019, now he's 2.1 yards past the first down marker, which has been a result in less three and outs, okay? It's pretty much it's pretty simple there. If you're throwing it past the first down marker, then uh, there's probably a better chance you're going to get a first down. Because even if you catch it and you're not throwing it far enough, that is probably the most annoying thing, right? When your quarterback drops back, he's like, ooh, you know, third and eight. He's got a man. He's delivering a dot. Caught for six yards and, he, and he's short. Like, boy, if you'd ran two more yards, you'd have had the first down, but you didn't. Why? I don't know, but that was how the Lions offense operated last season. Huge, huge jump for Matthew Stafford in that category, okay? He's now way up in the league. And that's why we have less three and outs. And then this final next gen stat, this next one we're looking at is intended air yards. Now, apparently in 2018, Matthew Stafford's intended air yards were only seven yards per attempt, which was terrible. This was 34th in NFL among 39 quarterback qualifiers. That's terrible. I mean, there's not even 39 teams in the NFL. So you're, you're bringing him back up to the situation now. That's not good. That, that's not good. But in 2018, he took a huge jump, okay? Listen to this. 2019, he's throwing now 11.1 yards per attempt, attempt, which is second in the league. And now last year in 2018, his completion percentage was way down, right? He wasn't completing those passes, okay? He was landing at 4.7 yards per completion, which was 35th in the league. But now in 2019, he's actually completing deeper passes for 8.1 yards per completion, which is tied for first in the NFL. So you see a huge jump there in all those stats. And for me, they all go throwing the ball further and being more aggressive. And that's the biggest difference with Matthew Stafford this season. It's been more from the watch. We have less three and outs. And we put up some more points, I guess I would say, okay? This offense seems to be getting going. I love what Daryl Bevel's doing. I thought I would just shout out that because he had a shout out the guy, Matty Stafford, okay? And also the Super Bowl rankings, they still hate him. But you know what? I guess that means it's a time to bet. I'm not, not telling y'all to bet. Don't do that. It's not good, I think. I don't know. Don't do that. But I thought I would tell you guys about these two things because I thought they were pretty interesting. Again, go check out my gaming channel, Dose Speed Gaming, because I did put a gaming video up and there will be live streams. So if y'all like live streams, y'all like interacting with me, even if it's talking about sports, you're going to want to go over there. You are really going to want to go over there. The link is in the description. Thank you, Pat, for watching, and I'm out.